Hello students. Uh, up till now we have discussed about how to find out the compressive strength, uh, tensile strength of concrete. Now today we will discuss about other tests which are also useful for finding out the tensile strength of concrete. So one of the tests is ring tension test. So basically in the ring tension test this hydrostatic pressure is applied radially against the inside periphery of of this 15 centimeter diameter 4 mm thick and 4 mm high con concrete ring specimen so here you can see there is a ring specimen that is to be prepared having this particular specified size of 15 centimeter diameter 4 mm thick and 4 mm height and to this you have to apply this hydrostatic pressure all along okay so truly you want to apply this tensile no. Okay, so uh, and with the help of this uh, particular hydrostatic pressure, we want to develop this tensile stresses. So the resulting tensile stresses developed in the specimen are determined from the equations of the stress analysis of thick walled cylinders. So basically, this uh, tensile stress uh, which is obtained using uh, such a hydrostatic pressure application. It is given by this particular formula. Ft is equal to Pi minus Ri square uh, upon Ro square minus Ri square into 1 minus Ro square upon R square. Where this Ft, it is the tensile strength. Pi, it is the applied hydrostatic that you can know because you are applying. This Ri is the internal radius certain thickness. You can also get some radius and r that is radius at the point of failure so wherever uh, the uh, failure take place at the failure so using all these the uh, terms of concrete so what are the advantage of this uh, ring tension test the nature of the load that you are applied in this particular test uh, is such that no clamping or misalignment stresses are introduced so there is no need of applying a clamp or any misalignment that are not introduced in the test specimen and uh, which is a very difficult condition which uh, we, we can't avoid in direct test next is the entire volume of the ring is subjected to tensile stresses without the uniformly distributed maximum stress occurring along the entire periphery of the ring so purely you can say that the full volume of the ring is subjected to tensile stresses and this cannot be ever achieved in case of maxwell test or even in case of the split cylinder test so that is the advantage uh, that the whole volume of the ring it is subjected to tensile stress and which is not possible in flexural or split cylinder test and there is an advantage over the splitting tension test in which the minimum compressive stress occurring at the center line of the splitting plane is about three times the corresponding tensile stress so this is the advantage over splitting test but what are the limitations of this ring tension test is derivation of equation so equation used for it for the uh, stress analysis is based on the Hooke's law of linear stress strain proportionality and the ring uh, ten tensile strength obtained appear to be somewhat higher than the true tensile strength of the concrete uh, and the exact mag magnitude of the difference is not exactly known but it is found that it is differing from the true tensile strength of concrete so these are the uh, two days disadvantage or the limitations of the ring tension test the another test to find out the tensile strength is double punch test so in this case, the concrete cylinder is placed vertically between the two loading plates of compression testing machine. So this is kept vertically. Okay. So cylinder is placed vertically between the uh, two uh, loading plates of compression testing machine and compressed by the steel punches. So here, uh, the steel punches they are used to apply the load uh, concentrically on top and bottom surface of the cylinder. The ideal uh, failure mechanism will consist of many simple uh, tension breaks in the radial direction. So some uh, simple radial, uh, radially uh, this uh, ten, uh, tension cracks are developed in radial direction and two cone shape. So generally this two cone shape, uh, particular rupture surface that are generally observed in this particular case under this load. And the two cone shape which is moved towards each other are rigid uh, as a rigid body and displace the surrounding material horizontally sideways. And then they will uh, fail in this particular horizontal direction okay so the formula for calculating the tensile strength uh, it is based on this particular uh, equation 
एफ टी इज इक्वल टू क्यू अपॉन वन पॉइंट टू जीरो बी एच माइनस ए स्क्वेयर सो वेर ए इज रेडियस ऑफ पंच बी इज रेडियस ऑफ सिलेंडर एच इज हाइट ऑफ सिलेंडर एंड क्यू इज लोड एट वेल्यू ओके सो बाई यूजिंग दिस मैथड ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड आउट टेंस एंड स्ट्रेंथ सो हियर दिस इज द टेस्ट सेट ऑफ विच इज शोन दिस इज द स्टील पंचज दैट आर एडेड एंड दिस इज योर बॉटम प्लेट एंड दैट इज योर लोड सेल एंड दिस इज योर गाइडिंग प्लेट so these are the test setup that is generally used uh, particularly for tension test of concrete now one important thing which is called as the test code that also you should not understand uh, generally we are using the test specimen of tube and cylinder which are generally made from the representative sample of concrete and that uh, we are going to use it for a particular member uh, for which uh, uh, we would like to know the strength Uh, the strength of this tube specimen uh, cannot be same as that of the member. Member, me, jab aap use karte ho, he concrete. So it's not necessary that whatever tube strength or cylinder strength that you are getting, it would be same as uh, when you are using in actual structure. Why? The reasons are different. Uh, there is a differences uh, in respect of the degree of compaction. Compaction may be different on a particular site as compared to that is what we are doing in our laboratory. Curing standards are also different. Curing condition would be different. uniformity of concrete is also different evaporation and loss of mixing water so these are all the reasons uh, why uh, whatever uh, cube or cylinder that we are testing in particular laboratory that may not be same as whatever strength and ever you are using the same concrete in actual structure so at at best the result of uh, cubes or cylinder give on, give, can give only a rough estimate of the real strength of member but now if you are interested in getting the actual strength of member ki agar ye member hai aapka koi particular beam hai ya aapka particular column hai and at today you want to find out the strength of concrete then how to find out so to arrive at a better picture of the strength of the actual member attempts are made to cut the cores from the parent concrete and test the cores for the strength okay so whatever actual concrete is so this is the actual structure from which we have to cut the cores Okay, so the cores are nothing but they are uh, the members which are cut from the parent concrete, and the same you want to test it for the strength. So this will give you a better picture. If by today, if you have cut here a particular core with this uh, core cutting machine, that the same core. So here, this you can see this is the core. So this core, uh, that particular H upon D ratio that you have to maintain, and that you can check it for the particular compression or tension uh, test. Okay. so this will give you the better picture about the strength of the actual concrete in that particular member and this core can be drilled at a suspected part of the structure yahan pe bhi aapko thoda aisa lagta hai to wahan pe aapko core cut karna chahiye so such kind of core cutting machines are available with the help of which from the actual member you can take the actual core of the particular concrete uh there are certain uh, disadvantage of this uh, test core first is uh, while cutting the core the structural integrity of the concrete across the full cross section may be affected to some extent because you are taking uh, the core from the actual concrete so that may affect the structural integrity also this height to diameter ratio that may be other than the standard cylinder so that may be uh, the difficulty can set h to the ratio cannot be maintained in capping of both the ends it will be required so to to bring the planeness of that particular core you have to go for the capping okay on both the ends and uh, which will again introduce some differences in the actual strength so this capping will also affect the strength of test core then existence of the reinforcement will also uh, present difficulty in cutting the clean core so whenever because rcc structure we are using so in between some reinforcement bars will be there so uh, it is very difficult to get a uh, cut certain core uh, when there is existence of reinforcement bars the cores cut to determine the strength of concrete of the actual structure may also indicate the segregation and honeycombing of concrete because actually this concrete now uh, applied to the structure so some other changes might have also taken place and that is all not giving exact strength but it is also including some segregation and honeycombing of structure uh, concrete also in some cases the beam specimen are also sawn uh, from the road and airfield slabs for the Finding plexural strength. 
तो दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व कि जो मीन स्पेसिमेन हम कट करके लाए हैं फ्लेक्सन स्ट्रेंथ के दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट गिविंग प्रॉपर रिजल्ट इन प्रैक्टिस इट इज सीन दैट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द कोर इज फाउंड आउट टू बी लेस देन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड सिलेंडर जनरली वॉट एवर एक्चुअल कॉन्क्रीट बाई कोर टेस्टिंग चेकिंग इट इज जनरली गिविंग लेस स्ट्रेंथ एज कम्पेयर टू स्टैंडर्ड सिलेंडर वेन दे आर कास्ट विद द सेम कॉन्क्रीट इन द लेबोरेटरी Apart from other reasons, it is also uh, mainly due to the site curing is invariably inferior to the curing under standard moist conditions. So, due to uh, these are uh, this, such reasons, uh, this test score it, it will not ascertain that whatever uh, strength that is coming up, it is exactly the strength of the concrete. So, this uh, strength of the cores you know, that uh, how it is differing that we are going to just discuss. The reduction in the strength of the cores appears to be ग्रेटर इन स्ट्रॉगर कॉन्क्रीट तो ज्यादा आपको देखा गया है कि जो स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कोर है दैट इज रिडक्शन इज ऑब्जर्व दैट इज ग्रेटर इन स्ट्रॉगर कॉन्क्रीट एंड द रिडक्शन इन द स्ट्रेंथ कैन बी एज हाई एज फिफ्टीन परसेंट फॉर फोर्टी मेगा पास पर कॉन्क्रीट एंड जनरली दिस रिडक्शन ऑफ फाइव टू सेवन परसेंट इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ रिजनेबल फाइव टू सेवन परसेंट डिफरेंस आता है सिलेंडर टेस्ट और कोर्स Taste well, so it is okay. Many investigation uh, investigators they have reported that the in situ concrete gains very little strength after 28 days. And tests on high strength concrete show that although the strength of the pores increases with the age, the pore strength even up after one year of age it remains lower than the strength of standard 28 days cylinder. We uh, we know that the strength of the Concrete that will go on increasing as, as uh, the age passes, but uh, from the result it is observed that the core strength, to one year ka age hai, that is also having less strength as whatever strength we have obtained for the 28 days standard cylinder. So this is the table that is giving the development of strength of core with age. So here this age in days are given here strength of cylinder standard cylinders that are casting etc. is done in lab and proper. Conditions are maintained, and this is the cores which are cut from a uh, particular parent structure. Then this is the core strength as a proportion of the strength of 28 days uh, standard cylinder. So you can see that uh, this uh, particular uh, standard uh, cylinder and the cores, the values are different. Okay, here you are getting 66, here it is 57.9. So here you can see that there are at all the ages the strength would be different. And uh, at 65 days, it is giving around. Uh, it is uh, 0.9 times, 0.94 times the particular uh, standard cylinder. So as the age increases, that uh, this uh, particular difference is that is becoming narrower. But uh, after 28 days, you can say that uh, this core strength as a uh, 0.7 times the 28 days cylinder uh, strength that you have obtained in the laboratory. This is also one of the aspect. That is used to find out the strength of of, of particular uh, concrete that is actually used in concrete members at that particular age, and uh, some differences of the strengths are obtained. So, for preparing this uh, whatever uh, concrete technology uh, lectures that I have taken, for all I have uh, referred one book and that is a very standard book, and that is called Concrete Technology Theory and Practice by Mr. M. S. Shetty, S. Chand Publications. thank you very much so uh, as far as the strength is concerned uh, you have to know about compressive strength tensile strength flexural strength of concrete as well as for the actual member if you want to know the uh, strength then you have to cut the core and you have to check the particular strength of that particular test core in the laboratory so thank you very